Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I feel like you had a few too many sort of standard motors. So, uh, should we turbo it up a little bit? Escort RS turbo van, needing a little bit of love. Running a 1.9 tool block, 270.7 brake. Uh, Piper cam, Piper pulley, T34 hybrid turbo, Ahmed Bayou chip, uh, 4x4 Cosy brakes all round. Uh, yeah, nice little thing, me mate Dave's van. This was uh, one of our other friends, Mark's. He's had it for years and years in his garage. Mark decided that he was going to start stripping it all down get ready for paint it's in a pearl white it does need a little bit of love believe it or not the actual van's solid um started paint stripping the bonnet <laughs> that's as far as he got uh so my mate dave with the yellow mark ii that's been on the channel he ended up buying it because mark bought my fiesta turbo van so dave's got this well dave's had this for ages uh it's been parked in my yard and uh, he was going to keep it, do everything, paint it, blah, 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 blah. But I think he's just bought something else. And now he said, can I prime the front bumper and the bonnet? And I was like, mm, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. So uh, the conditions of this was, Dave, I'll prime it. If you come and prep it, I'll sort it out. So Dave's on his way over to sort it out. Uh, I just got it out of the yard and I'm putting the battery on charge. It's, uh, it's a little bit flat. But I thought some of you guys might want to see it. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you a little walk around, shall I? This set of uh, RS7s on it, like I said. It's got cosy brakes, not that you're going to see much. Rear discs on the back, cosy ones as well. Uh, it is running... It's got 90 spec uh, seats in it. Some adjustable thing now for uh, the brakes, I believe. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it's got some kind of bias brake set up there. It's got adjuster there and adjuster there. Uh, got a little switch up there for the fifth injector. A little boost gauge. I think that's a Cosy steering wheel, can't remember. Or it might be a Mark III Esco one. I'm sure it's Cosy. Uh, lots of rust on the bonnets. Uh, turbo kit, a bit flaky there. It's a funky, horrible, dirty looking pearl white colour. It's got um, some nice little goodies. I'm dropping my blooming charger. Yeah, this thing is a little monster. It's got air tech, intercooler, rad, all of that lot in it. It's got a fuel cell in the boot. And it does, uh, it does certainly shift, that's for certain. 270 brake in a little tin can is quite funny. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice, I mean, I suppose it's hard to find a, uh, Mark IV Escort vans that are not rotten now. Um, he changed the back doors the other day. He's got one of them one piece ones that open sideways. He put some standard doors on it. Obviously got to clean all of that lot up. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was going to keep it, do all the bodywork and paint it, make it look really nice. Uh, I don't know what he's bought. He won't tell me. <laughs> he's going to tell me when he gets here later. So this might be going up for sale. I think he just wants to get that primed and that primed uh, and go from there. I think he might be swapping his wheels back over. But uh, yeah, nice little van. It could be uh even better little van if it was all done. If I had the time and a roof that weren't knackered, uh, I'd be tempted to have it off of him. And right now, look really nice in. Uh, bit of flint grey or something like that. And this van definitely moves. It's good fun to drive. I'm going to uh, 
pulled the front bumper off. Um, help him out a little bit. I ain't touching that rust. <laughs> he, he, he could deal with all that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me whip this front bumper off. We'll have a little look and I'll see you in a sec. board waiting for Dave to turn up so I uh, cleaned a little bit see uh, how difficult it would be just use one of them um, cleaning strip discs they're pretty good to be fair he's still got his work cut out though I'll give him that but uh, they were the conditions he can do it I ain't doing it I've done a little bit it's relatively all right to do uh, what's under that filler but I'll probably try and pull that up for him and straighten that out I think they debadged it at some point in its life. So we're gonna to have to try and do something with that. But we'll wait for Dave to get here. I ain't doing any more on that yet. <laughs> He's got to earn his keep. Dave murdered through me uh, cleaning strip disc. That's dead. He killed that one. I uh, ground out the dent there. It's quite big. Another dent here at the front. Got to try and pull up and sort out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have to go and get more cleaning strip discs for that. He's getting a size of that dent. <laughs> I'll get my machine out and get that sorted for him. Right. It's now Monday. Uh, I went out and got some more clean strip discs. I've got my GYS spotter uh, system out. We're gonna take care of uh, the dents that are in this. And uh, uh, it's quite astonishing. You know, the gap we've got through there. <laughs> yeah, she needs some love. So uh, let me get this set up. We'll have a sort out. As you can see, uh, in the time lapse, Dave swapped his wheels over, put some uh, crappy ones on it. I don't actually know. I think he might be in, ending up selling the van. Uh, so he's took his good wheels off and put them on for the time being. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but um, he wants that sorted. Uh, once he's stripped all that off and it's bare metal, we're going to put some um, Novo Epoxy Primer on that and then some normal primer. Uh, so it sort of protects it with the bare metal. Basically the uh, epoxy primer seals it all in and it creates a barrier. And you put your normal primer on and uh, you've got a good surface to work from. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna carry on. Let's get these dents up and see what we can do with them.
There we go, we're getting there. The front bit of damage there, and the top piece of damage here, I actually used my shrinking things that are popping in and out. Uh, it's the first time I've ever used a shrinker on that machine now. Uh, it works sweet, it's all solid now. So, you just saw me in the time lapse, sand this with a bit of 80 grit now. Now it's highlighting all my uh, darker bits, which are low. Uh, this is from the linishing around here, but uh, well, I mean, obviously we're gonna skim it, but you can see like I've got a low, 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 all the way across there. So it gives you half an idea of what bits to pick up. And then the same again here, uh, hard to show. Uh, so we've got a low here, here, and here and that side and that side, but we'll tap that out and sort that out. So I'm gonna carry on finessing that a little bit and then uh, I'll see you in a bit. Good as we need to get it blown through a couple of little pinholes we'll um put a bit of uh fiberglass in there in in an ideal world you'd want to weld the little hole little blow through hole up another little tiny one now um but that's under a brace underneath so we can't get to it and i'll probably make more mess than it's worth where this was so stretched where the dent was about I don't know, that deep, it was it was massive. Uh, it's not worth fiddling with. In the ideal world, you would have changed the bonnet out, but this is just a little love job. So now we've got hardly any daylight. Obviously, we're gonna allow for a little bit in the middle there. Uh, uh, a hell of a lot better than what we was. So uh, yeah, happy with that. That'll do us. And to make even matters even worse, this is a love job. I probably ain't gonna get nothing out of him. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll go and get a bit of fiberglass, uh, skim over them holes, and then we'll give it a light skim of filler. And uh, it should work out a lot better than how it came in with about three inches of filler in it. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a moment. bother blocking the final skin down on these two I just dusted a bit of primer over them as you can see because fillers porous I've got to kick this van outside obviously we don't care it's all getting sanded again it may as well do final blocking afterwards so I just whacked a bit of a primer over them just to seal that up uh, and then we'll finish with it because I'm sure there's more to be sorted out on here for the time being but I've got other jobs to get on with so that's about all I've got time for today on this uh, it's still the morning, Dave is not going to be over here till 2 or 3 o'clock, so um, I've got other things to be doing that uh, I'm getting paid for, <laughs> unlike this love job. So this can get kicked out now. Uh, I wanted to pull the dent out and sort the bits out, so he can come finish doing what he's doing and I can go over it and get him proper primer for him. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thought you might like to see a bit of the... Uh, dent machine in action and stuff. So, um, knocked up a little video, but I might make another video on this. You'll probably see another one uh, at some point. But yeah, as always, massive thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.